Today's financial advice is sponsored by Endeavor Private Wealth. Chris McGee, managing partner at Endeavor Private Wealth, has joined us for our weekly, weekly segment on investing. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Glad to be here. In our last two programs, um, your colleague Brady Franklin, you know, he, he discussed um, investment insurance strategies for parents with newborn children. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm hoping you can expand upon the topic, focusing specifically on um, planning considerations for families and children uh, who have disabilities or special needs. Of course, I'd be happy to cover this important subject. According to the most recent data from the U.S. Census Bureau, one in every 26 American households is raising a child with a disability. Childhood disabilities may attribute in various physical, mental, and emotional conditions that pose limitations on certain activities or tasks. Some children may have difficulty with sensory issues or hearing and seeing. Others may have difficulty with mobility. And they may face cognitive challenges impairing their ability to communicate and some may suffer acute chronic trauma limiting their ability to function and develop mm -hmm. even. And I can only imagine you know, how caring for a child with a disability can place a strain on family's financial and emotional well-being. Yes, unfortunately it can and that's why it's important for the family to identify, prioritize, and plan for their financial goals as it relates to the parents, the child with the special needs, and their siblings. In the near term, families need to develop or determine the costs of the programs, services, and lifestyle needs of the child and the funding sources through their own means, public resources, or a combination of both. And childhood disabilities may affect the educational needs, the type of work, that they may be able to engage in during their adulthood and their social engagements throughout their life. Mm -hmm. And in past programs, um, you've discussed issues surrounding family caregiving, typically when an adult child is responsible mm -hmm. for the care of an aging parent, which can place a sub substantial financial and physical and emotional burden on the adult child. I think you called it the um, sandwich generation when an adult is responsible for aging parents and their own families. Yes, it's not easy. And studies have shown that families with a child with disability have a lower rate of maternal employment, a situation that may really strain the family's economic resources on top of the increased levels of stress, tension, and fatigue in the household, and the unfortunate situation of having to care for an aging parent on top of that and those levels can only rise higher. Yeah, I know you always maintain a positive and optimistic approach to these types of challenging situations. Well, what do you recommend? Well, first, families with a child with a disability should sit down with a trusted financial professional and do a comprehensive assessment of their financial resources, investments, insurance, retirement goals, and estate plan, all of which will be influenced by the special needs of the child now and when their main caregivers are no longer able to do so. Public resources are available to families with children with special needs, but the eligibility and rules associated with them can be very complex and daunting. Therefore, I always recommend collaborating with a professional who is an expert in this field. Estate planning professionals should also be included in the process to consider the appropriate transition strategies. These may include the options available to children when the special needs child has reached their legal majority, prudent and compassionate distribution provisions for their parents' estate plans, and the creation of what's called a special needs trust. Now, such a trust will not disqualify the child from receiving governmental benefits provided distribution from the trusts are only used for supplemental and extra costs over and above what the government government programs provide. Wow, okay. I can see we have a lot more to talk about in coming mm -hmm. programs. But Chris, you know, we always appreciate your time. I, I thank you so much for coming down here. And to learn more about Endeavor Private Wealth, visit EndeavorPW.com.